We have a flagpole here without a flag. It is mounted vertically with its base fixed to the ground. Say a person is standing some distance away from this pole and looking straight at it. The line drawn from the eye of the person to the distant point where the person is looking is called line of sight. This is the line of sight. Since this line is parallel to the surface, we call it the horizontal line of sight or simply a horizontal line. Now, if the person is looking at the top of the pole, what would be the line of sight in this case? The line drawn from the eye to the top of the pole will be the line of sight. We see that this line of sight makes some angle with this horizontal line. This angle is called the angle of elevation. The angle of elevation of the top of the flagpole is simply the angle that this line of sight makes with the horizontal line. Let me repeat this quickly as it's an important concept. When a person is looking up, the angle formed by this line of sight with the horizontal line is called the angle of elevation. Note here that the line of sight is above the horizontal line. What if the person is looking at the base of the pole? What is the line of sight in this case? The line drawn from the eye to the base of the pole is the line of sight when the person is looking at the base. In this case, the angle formed between the line of sight and horizontal is called the angle of depression. Yes, when a person is looking down, angle formed by the line of sight with the horizontal is angle of depression. Here the line of sight is below the horizontal. So we can say that when the line of sight is above the horizontal, angle of elevation is formed and when the line of sight is below the horizontal, angle of depression is formed. Here is a simple problem for you. This is to make sure that you've understood this concept well. Suppose a girl is standing in a balcony of a bungalow and looking straight at a neighbouring building which is taller than her bungalow. When she looks at top of the building, the line of sight is this one. And when she's looking at the bottom of the building, the line of sight is this one. And this is the horizontal line. Let us denote the angles that we see using some letters. Now here is the question for you to answer. Which among these is the angle of elevation and which is the angle of depression? Pause the video and try to find the answer. Angle of elevation is P and is formed when she's looking up and the angle of depression is Q which is formed when she's looking down. In the next video, we will solve a few examples based on this concept.